Welcome to Spatial Sundays. I'm back from the Vision Pro Developer Lab in Cupertino. I flew across the country. We will be landing soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to be the first to welcome you to San Francisco where the local time is 9.22 p.m. Attended the lab. At the light, turn right, then turn right into the parking lot. And then came back here, and now I'm doing Spatial Sunday. But as much as I want to share the information with you, I can't. Apple has said we cannot share anything. In fact, the only thing we can share is that we attended the Vision Pro Developer Lab. So... If you want to know more about the Vision Pro Developer Lab, I'll refer you to this article by Apple inside the Apple Vision Pro Labs. Read through this. It was like seeing Fantastical for the first time. It's like I felt a part of the app. Look at all the quotes here. I'm not saying this. This is what other people said. So make sure you read that article in the description below. It gives you a pretty good representation of what it's like to be at an Apple Vision Pro Developer Lab. And not only that, your challenge for you this week is for you to apply for an Apple Developer Lab. This is where you want to go, developer.apple.com. And you can see right here, get ready for the Apple Vision Pro. Now you can take apps to the next level. Select on this. And here, if you scroll down, learn more about Developer Labs, here is where you're going to apply. This is your challenge. Definitely apply right here. Getting started September 25th through October 8th. Click on these. Next, and now fill out this. Pause the video and complete your challenge. Apply for Apple Developer Lab right now. Really quickly this week for Vision Pro, I wanna show you Xcode Beta 8 and how it broke attachments. Attachments allow you to add Swift UI views to 3D content, like buttons or anything you can imagine. And from WWDC, they told you to use tags. Well, guess what? Beta 8, it no longer works. So I want to fix that, and that's what we'll do today in Spatial Sunday. So let's learn together, and let's get spatial. Here we are at developer.apple.com and let's read about beta software. Beta software includes previews and seeds refers to pre-release versions of software that is not public and is still under development. As a developer, you can use beta software to start integrating the latest Apple technologies into your apps so that your apps are up to date once the software becomes available to the public. You can see beta versions of Xcode include the latest tool set and SDKs for creating apps, and this video, two months ago, on the same day that Vision OS came out, I showed you in this video how to download Xcode Beta. That was Beta 1. Currently, Apple just released an update, Beta 8, and you definitely need to update it. So we'll go through that. Here is where you want to go to download the latest beta, developer.apple.com slash Xcode. You simply click on download. And we're going to do Xcode 15 Beta. You could see August 29th, so not that long ago, Xcode Beta 8. You can also see the Vision OS Beta 3 simulator runtime was released about three days ago. So definitely want to download this and install that. With it downloaded, let's go ahead and launch it. You can see this launches and this will be Xcode Beta 8. And you definitely want to install all of these. And you can see over here, this is still Beta 2. I have it. I'm keeping both to show you why you want to have beta 8. They've updated some code that would break previous changes that we've done. I'm not going to click delete older Xcode betas to show you the difference, but you can go ahead and select this. So now you see we have Xcode beta 8 installed and it's also going to install the iOS simulator and the Vision OS simulator. You can also see that this one you could download as well. This includes the simulator runtime for Vision OS. The simplest way to install the Vision OS simulator runtime is by using Xcode. That's what it's currently doing over here. Once this is done, it'll download this. Now you can see Xcode Beta 8 has been installed. Also, it installed the latest simulators for iOS 17 and Vision OS. 
Here is the breaking change that I want to show you in the Xcode Beta 8. It's for your reality view, specifically for your attachments. The way you do attachments, you no longer use tags. You have to use an attachment view. So let's actually show you from WWDC where they talk about attachments and you should use tags, which no longer works. Here's a video from WWDC, work with Reality Composer Pro content in Xcode. Learn how to bring content from Reality Composer Pro into Xcode. And if I go to the code, if I scroll down, you can see attachments data flow. You have your reality view, you have your make closure, you have your update closure, you have your attachments closure. That is still the same, but how the view looks in here is gonna be different. You can see here it shows it has dot tag. Even if I go below that, here again is a reality view with the make, update, and attachments closure. And it's telling you to add the tag to the Swift UI view. And then in your update closure, you're going to look for that tag like this. This no longer works in Xcode Beta 8. So let's watch what attachments is, and then I'll show you how to fix it. We have a new way of putting SwiftUI content into a reality kit scene. This is called the Attachments API. Let's first see this in code, and then I'll walk you through the data flow. Attachments are a part of the reality view. Let's first look at a simplified example to show the structure of a reality view so we can see how SwiftUI views get into a reality kit scene. The reality view initializer that we're going to use takes three parameters a make closure, an update closure, and an attachments view builder. Fleshing this out a little, let's add a bare minimum implementation of creating an attachment view, a green Swift UI button, and adding it to our reality kit scene. In the attachments view builder, we make a normal Swift UI view. We can use view modifiers and gestures and all the rest that Swift UI gives us. We tag our view with any unique hashable. I've chosen to tag this button view with a fish emoji. Later, when SwiftUI invokes our update closure, our button view has become an entity. It's stored in the attachments parameter to this closure, and we fish it out using the tag we gave it before. We can then treat it like any other entity. We can add it as a child of any existing entity in our scene, or we can add it as a new top-level entity in the contents entities collection. And since it's become a regular entity, we can set its position so it shows up where we want in 3D. And we can add any components we want as well. Here's how data flows from one part of the reality view to another. Let's look at the three parameters to this reality view initializer. The first is make, which is where you load your initial setup scene from your Reality Composer Pro bundle as an entity, and then add it to the reality kit scene. The second is update, which is a closure that would be called when there are changes to your view's state. Here, you can change things about your entities, like properties in their components, their position, and even add or remove entities from the scene. This update closure is not executed every frame. It's called whenever the SwiftUI view state changes. The third is the attachments view builder. This is where you can make SwiftUI views to put into your reality kit scene. Your Swift UI views start out in the Attachments View Builder, then they are delivered to you in the Update Closure in the Attachments parameter. Here, you ask the Attachments parameter if it has an entity for you using the same tag you gave to your button in the Attachments View Builder. If there is one, it vends you a Reality Kit entity. In your Update Closure, you set its 3D position and add it to your Reality Kit scene so you can see it floating in space wherever you want. Here, I've added my button entity as a child of a sphere entity. So here, this is the code you can see from WWDC, which was three months ago. It says use a tag. Let's actually type this code in a new Xcode project. So I'm going to make right here, I'm in Xcode beta 8. I'll make a new project, Vision OS, and attachments fix. We'll do window to none, I'll do next, and I will just create that project. So here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this VStack, and let's type in the code exactly as they tell us from WWDC. I'm gonna do reality view, 
and I want to do a make update and attachments. This one right here, I'll just press enter. So here we go. We have exactly the same thing that we have from WWDC, but we're getting an error. You can see this error is here and it make update attachments is unavailable in vision OS. Well, what do you mean it's unavailable? Here it is from WWDC. This is how it's supposed to be. Prior to Xcode 8, this would work. Let me show you that. On the right side, I now have my Xcode beta 8. You can see this is what beta 8 looks like. This is what beta 2 looks like. Let's open up beta 2 and copy the code over and let's see if we get any errors. Okay, on the right side I have Xcode beta 8. You can see right here, I also have Xcode beta 2 open. Right now this is beta 2. So I'm gonna do file new project. Same thing, vision OS, next. Attachments, fix, working. And I'll just quickly make a new project. On the left side, this one, if I go to about Xcode, you can see it's beta two. On the right side, if I click on that one and I do about Xcode, you can see it's beta eight. Now, let's just simply copy this code. That's an error in beta eight and copy it over here. So I'm gonna get rid of my navigation split view and just simply paste that in. And you can see there is no error over here. This is completely fine in beta two, but in beta eight, they've now updated the SDK. So you have to do this differently. You no longer can use tags. You have to do it this way. So now let's just comment this out. When you want to add a Swift UI attachment to a 3D object, you're gonna type in attachment ID like that. You're going to give the tag here and you have the code inside of here. So if I wanted that button, I would simply put the button inside of here and my tag now goes here, button fish. So now you can see the error goes away. So that's a great reason to make sure you stay up to date with the latest betas. You can see here, WWDC told you to do it this way with beta one. It also worked on beta two. Beta eight, which is on the right side, came out a little while ago. And you now need to do attachments like this. There is no tag. You do attachment with an ID, whatever you want to call it. You add your Swift UI inside of that closure. But now you can see here, this code now works. So from WWDC, this code no longer is valid. You do not use tags for attachments. You have to do it this way. And you can see it's everywhere on WWDC. If you scroll through the code, you can see right here, it has it. If you go down, it's right here. If you go down some more, again, it's down here. Even if you looked at enhance your spatial computing app with reality kit, if you look at the code again, right here, they have this tag and they have it again down here as well. So when you're using beta software, just make sure you stay up to date. Even the official videos from WWDC are no longer valid just two months later, because now you have to do this instead of this adding a tag like this here. So make sure you download Xcode beta eight, stay up to date, have a great spatial Sunday. AR is going to change the world. Everyone can learn. So let's create a diverse group of immersioneers. Learn more about Vision OS or Lightship by subscribing, liking, and sharing today.